Well, good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer with me, Reverend Stuart Dyer. This is the second week in what we term ordinary time, time between the end of Epiphany before we turn our thoughts to Lent. I'm very conscious that there is nothing ordinary in our current situation. Great to have you with us today and whether you're joining us live on a Wednesday evening or whether you're joining us at some other time and we pray that you will experience God's blessing as we pray together. There will be periods of silence and most of the responses are on the slides so we will just go slowly and carefully through those with as much space as you wish uh, by pressing the pause button to, to spend in prayer. So we have a call to worship. Be swift, O oh God, to save us. Come quickly, Lord, to help us. God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself and has entrusted us with the message of reconciliation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And we come into God's presence. We are ready to make our confession, thinking of those things which we would prefer to have been different, what we have done, thought and said, or what we have failed to do, failed to say, and what we find lacking within ourselves when faced with the needs of the world, the needs of others, or even the call of God. So we take a moment to be still before we make our confession. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Good news is that if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Thanks be to you, O God. I'm going to read from Singing the Faith, number 355, and I will leave spaces in between the verses for us to reflect. Jesus, lover of my soul, let me to thy bosom fly while the nearer waters roll while the tempest still is high. Hide me, O oh my Saviour, hide, till the storm of life is past. Safe into the haven guide, O oh, receive my soul at last. Other refuge have I none, hangs my helpless soul on thee. Leave, ah, leave me not alone, still support and comfort me. 
All my trust on thee is stayed. All my help from thee I bring. Cover my defenseless head with the shadow of thy wing. Thou, O Christ, art all I want. More than all in thee I find. Raise the fallen, cheer the faint, heal the sick, and lead the blind. Just and holy is thy name. I am all unrighteousness. False and full of sin I am. Thou art full of truth and grace. Plenteous grace with thee is found, grace to cover all my sin. Let the healing streams abound, make and keep me pure within. Thou of life the fountain art, freely let me take of thee. Spring thou up within my heart, rise to all eternity. God and Father of all, as this day ends, we offer up its hours in praise to you. As we take our rest, unite us by your Spirit. We praise you, Christ our Lord, the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last, in whom we make our prayer. Amen. And so we come to the reading for the Sunday that is coming. And this is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 14 to 20. Jesus calls the first disciples. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending the nets. Immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Be to God for his word. I invite you to either use the picture or the reading or a combination of both. This, these are, uh, this is a picture of genuine fishermen on the Lake of Galilee. I think the boat is slightly more modern, but it's, the place remains the same. I invite you to take a few moments to think of the passage, the call of Jesus to his disciples, while we reflect and keep silence together.
begin with a prayer from Francois Fenelon. In our weakness, O Christ, let us trust your strength. In our darkness, let us see your light. In our doubt, let us feel your presence. And in our despair, let us cling to your cross. For your truth and your mercy's sake. Today we pray with other Christians in Asia and Britain, remembering especially the church in China. Loving God, we give thanks for the Amity Foundation in China, for its work in reducing poverty, promoting peace and justice, for its staff and partners, and its work to build peaceful and harmonious relations across borders and religions. We give thanks for the continuing growth of the Methodist International Church in Hong Kong during these difficult times. We remember the members of the church on the front line of political protests, putting themselves between protesters and police. We pray for wisdom for church leaders as they seek to speak with and advise the government church may be a healing community and for the safety of all staff, volunteers and congregations they may sustain the ministry of healing and reconciliation. We pray especially for the church in China which faces restrictions on ministry to people under the age of 18 and for all the pastors and lay leaders who, despite facing such restrictions, are confident that faith will flourish. We especially remember the President of the China Christian Council, the Amity Foundation General Secretary, the Methodist President, and the Mission Partner for Hong Kong. pray to you this day for Newcastle upon Tyne district. We give thanks for their new community engagement enabler and for the work in many places amongst those at the margins of society. We pray for many people involved in different recovery groups across the district and all may learn from their humility children, young people and those who work with them. May their gifts and graces be nurtured and released to grow your kingdom. This day, O God, we especially remember the United States of America. Conscious that on this day when our prayer handbook asks us to pray for China, that for the past three or four years, the United States presidency has put two countries at odds. We pray for the president, Joe Lloyd Biden, and we pray that he may have wisdom and strength, together with Kamala Harris and all their administrative staff, to make wise policies. Give them energy, O God, to redress the inequalities that abound in their country and around the world. We pray that the United States may again take its seat at the table of peace and care for the poorest of the world. We pray that the United States may again under Biden and Harris's administration not be renowned for its greatness or for its military might but for its sense of justice for its care and compassion and for its willingness to hold to the truth 
We pray especially for the rifts in America at this time. The words divided nation seem to be on our lips so often. But if we are honest, Lord, we are all divided. Very, very few of us are able to say that we fully and completely give ourselves to all the things we know we should. Very few of us are completely and absolutely wholeheartedly given over to the things we know to be right. Even as we seek your grace, O oh God, to heal us, may the nation of America experience that same transformation. May they experience, as in South Africa, a period of honesty, truth and reconciliation that they may truly call themselves a nation under God. This we pray for the glory of Christ. Amen. We come to the prayers familiar part of the evening prayer. I would again invite you, if you need to take more time, to press pause. I myself find these particular sets of words quite profound and they may well, I hope, give you different thoughts, different prayers to make. So take the time you need for that. Christ, through whom all things were made, sustain all creation. Christ, exalted in the lowest and the least, give us humility. Christ, present in the poor and oppressed, fill us with compassion. Christ, forsaken in the hungry and the homeless, minister to them through our hands. Christ, present where two or three are gathered, be known among us. Christ, present in word, sacrament and sign. 
grant us your peace. And we join our prayers and concerns together as we say the prayer that Jesus gave us. You may say the version that you prefer. I won't be able to hear you. I should be using what we call the modern version. We say together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord our God, at the ending of this day, and in the darkness and silence of this night. Cover us with healing and forgiveness that we may take our rest in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We will lie down in peace and take our rest. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Amen. Thank you for being with me this evening. I hope you have met with God in some way through our prayers and be assured that God hears us and knows our hearts, even for those prayers that we have not spoken. We're going to close this evening with some music. And we'll leave you again with the picture of the fisherman and the uh, screen won't be turned off until half past seven so you have time to uh, continue in prayer if you wish or just listening to the music and enjoying and reflecting upon perhaps the picture i've been reverend stuart dyer it's been great to have you with me peace to you in the name of the lord <laughs>